back around about our, our meeting, and then we'll I'll go and let you guys explain kind of what you do and what you're about from there. Um, we just meet we, every Monday, 7.30. We've been getting together for the last, what, a year and a half, almost two years? Two years. Two years. Two years. And we just get, basically what we do, we get around, like I was telling you on Saturday, we just, we just get around, we talk about the world, talk about life, just men, just talk about just struggles and things that we battle with, um, all types of things. Yes, we do. Um, tap, Barbara, he had the vision. Um, they started it for me, and um, it's been growing. Um, ever since then, we, we all just kind of just follow suit on, on that. So, and we welcome everybody. We welcome anybody to the meeting. It don't matter, you know, different opinions. It don't matter what you believe. You know, we just, we all trying to, I, I believe we all trying to get to the common sense goal. Um, so, you know, so, um, so I'll, let, I'll just leave it for you guys. I, I kind of back, I met them Saturday. Saturday was, I think I've been on 31 days of boot camp out right, there on the street. So I do definitely respect, uh, have much respect for um, what they were talking about. Very knowledgeable brothers, and I want them to come in because I think um, regardless, um, we can all build together. And that's, that's, the, uh, that's the goal ultimately, to be able to build. So I just, I turn over and kind of let you guys just kind of talk about what you do. Um, we can just kind of go, will we talk about anything for you? And um, we originally called it Men's Power Hour, yeah, right? And it wasn't in, and then when Cap had the vision, um, it was more for just for men to get together, right? And to discuss, like, like Steve said, man stuff. And just so happened that everyone is normally gathered, it formed around Bible, the Bible and Bible-based talk. Um, but everyone is invited. Anyone is invited. It wasn't the fact of you had to be this, you had to be that. The whole purpose was to get together and discuss man stuff. But everyone that, that gathered, which our views and perspectives are based upon the Bible. Um, and that's how it's kind of shaped um, and grown. Um, so I'm going to throw it out there too. Okay. Uh, my name is Kazak, by the way. Uh, we were Israel United in Christ. It was established in 2003. Um, we're a strictly Bible-based uh, organization. We're going to teach the scriptures as it is written. Uh, we teach, we, what we do is we connect the dots from ancient history <coughs> to today. Okay? We show the people, there's 18 nations in the Bible after Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. We show each and every body, we show you who you are and how this Bible pertains to you. Okay? When you fit in this Bible. It's important you know who you are to even know that you should, you should pick the Bible up, okay? Um, so we can jump right into what we teach. If y'all got any questions? So what? what, so what is like it an open forum? forum? Is it an open yeah, forum? Yeah, it's open forum. Okay. Okay. The basis of yeah, I would, love, I, would, I would love questions. Well, I was good. Questions. Well, I will. <laughs> you say um. I've heard I've heard of the Israel United in Christ. Yes, sir. Uh, so, what's is there a difference um, than say any other uh, studying that I might study, or anybody Steve might study, or anybody else may study the Bible? Or is there any difference? Um, if you believe in the gospel, that Christ believe, is the Lord and Savior. Oh, we believe we believe in the whole Bible. Christ the difference is, is the Bible you believe the gospel. That. Yes, Christ is the Lord and Savior. Yes, okay. yes, 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 for sure. Okay, for sure. So that you that we talked about on Saturday the Israelites. You believe that we are the Israelites? Yes. Meaning brown people. Meaning the bloodline from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay. I, I don't want you to get confused with brown people. So what? Yeah. So te that's why I want you to. <laughs> that's why I want you to. Give me Numbers so, chapter one, verse eighteen. Let me we'll start here. Uh, oh, hold on. We'll give him a fly. Y'all want to take? I mean, if y'all want to take uh, a fly, yeah, go ahead, pass the mic, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Numbers chapter yeah. one, verse eighteen. Can I get an outlet, man? Yeah. Yeah. Open one over here. The book of Numbers, chapter one, and verse eighteen. Come on. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. So the congregation here is who? Moses brought the children of Israel through the Red Sea. This is on the other side of the Red Sea. They assembled all the congregation together. Come on. On the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees. What's your pedigree? What is your pedigree? Who you come from? Your ancestry. Your bloodline. 
your lineage, okay? They declared their pedigree house. After their families by the house of their father. Because you are what your father is. Your father has the seed, okay? So if my seed, if I plant my seed in any kind of woman, it's going to bring forth what? Me. What I am. My lineage. My nationality. Mm -hmm. Just like an apple tree. If I take an apple seed and I plant it in Russia, what kind of tree is it going to bring forth? What about in China, if I plant it in China? It might look a little different, but it's still an apple tree. It's the same way with our seed. Whatever we plant it, that's what it looks like. But I don't want you to get confused with color, because you said brown men. Bob Marley. Bob Marley is not a, an Israelite. Okay. Okay? His father was not of the lineage of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So he's not an Israelite. He looks like us. He has dreadlocks in his head, but he's not an Israelite. His fourth father was an Edomite. You understand? Okay. So he, he's not a he's not a, a Israelite according to the Bible. So your lineage, what you are according to this Bible, is dictated by the blood that flows through your veins. It's not about a, a belief, okay? Because there's some Israelites that don't believe. All right. So it's not about a belief system. God never gave us religion. God gave us law, statutes, and commandments to govern the children of Israel, and that's what we teach. Scared right now. Huh? I'm light skinned. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 you, I got a question. You not you lying to him? I got a question. What's your question? Where white people fit in? I'm going to tell you why. I'm from New York. I've dealt with Israelites my whole life. 42nd Street Israelites, Times Square. They preach hatred. They preach stuff that that is just. I'm being honest, with you, man. Downright degrading. They dis disrespected my mother in public. And I feel that we men of God, so-called men of God, why would we persecute anybody about skin color or even what their, what their uh, pedigree is? Because, let me just finish, what their pedigree is because, you know what, if, uh, you know, it's reverse racism. So if I point at the black man, all these brothers, these are my brothers. I, I, yo, listen, I go to war with them. I, I love these guys. They got nothing to do with, with the color of the flesh. But when people point people out in public and start, oh, that's the devil right there, that's the devil's mother, da -da 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 and all that stuff, I struggle with that. I'm actually glad you're here so I could get a real understanding in a forum where we're not going to yell at each other on the street because people get offended and want to be like, ah, and then everybody's gassing each other up into a fight. I, I like that we're here so we can, I'd like to really know, it's an honest question, where do white people fit in your, in your, in your, in your biblical understanding? First and foremost, there's no such thing as a black or white man. Okay. Um, First and foremost, yeah, yeah, he we, gotta, we, we so teach, yeah. like I said, we teach nationality. We teach who you are according to the Bible. Okay? I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. The, the so-called white man is not white. We're going to read where they come from and who they descend from. Okay. Okay? Give me Genesis 25. Give me verse... What's up, bros? That came in after yeah, yeah. I want verse 19. Well, this, this is what I want you to understand about us. Okay, it's a lot of Israelite groups out here teaching on the streets. You won't hear us saying, you the devil, you know, the Bible's bigger than that. We got a job to do. We got to wake up the twin tribes of the children of Israel. You understand? That's who Christ came to wake up. That's who we came to wake up. And guess what we're going to teach? We're going to teach the Bible as it is written. So if it's written in the Bible, that's what we're going to do. We ain't going to get emotional. We ain't going to get in no feelings. We're going to show you what thus says the Lord as it is written. All right? Look at Genesis chapter 25 verse 19. I want you to read Genesis 2 and 7 first. 2 and 7 first. So look at Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. Because like I mentioned before, we deal with history. Okay? So when you read uh, the creation, Man was formed of what? Of, of the soil. The dust right. of the ground. Right. The deeper you dig, the darker brown you get is this different spectrums of brown. It, the first man was a man of color. It's color throughout the whole Bible. Okay. You understand? The first man, it was impossible for the first man to be what we would consider today a Caucasian or European because uh, they have recessive genes. Well, I don't think, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't think Christ was, was white or black. I believe Christ was, he's an Israeli Jew, so which makes him, I feel, 
would be from would be more from like uh, the Iranian looking or the Iraqi looking. Well, it would gonna, be more Middle Eastern. We're gonna and, show. You, we're gonna show you because people have taken over <clears> those those land masses that, that that aren't originally from those land masses. So okay. we know what he looks like according to the Bible. That's why we we stick so much <clears> to the Bible because you got to believe on Christ as the scriptures have said. So read that Genesis twenty seven. The book of Genesis. Chapter 2 and verse 7. Uh -huh. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. So different shades of brown, different spectrums of brown. So the deeper you dig, the darker you get. We, as as so-called black men, we can make different spectrums of color. Caucasians, they can only, they have recessive genes. They can only bring forth what color they are. Well, can I ask you something, bro? Mm -hmm. um, can you explain to me how God did that? I mean, how did he make a brown man from the dust of the ground? Do you know how he did it? Yes. Wisdom of Solomon. <clears throat> We're made up of this earth. You understand? So, Wisdom of Solomon chapter but how, 7. How did he do it? I'm going to show you. Wisdom of Solomon 7 verse 17. The book of Wisdom of Solomon chapter 7. Hold on, let's give him a caveat what we read from. The 1611 version Bible. With the Bible that was translated in the year 1611, it had the Old Testament, it had a book called the, it wasn't called the Apocrypha, it was taken out and then it was called the Apocrypha. It's called the Hidden Books. And when King James, when the Bible was translated, it had the Old Testament, it had the New, uh, the King, uh, well, the Apocrypha, and it had the New Testament. I want to show you. This is the King James 1611 version Bible. This is what we're reading out of. That's the Apocrypha. This just costs a little bit more. You see that? The Old Testament, the Apocrypha, the New. I just want y'all to see so y'all think I'm reading out some crazy book right here. So what's the difference between that book and a normal book that we have as King James? I'm going to show you. Is it? You good, man. You good, man. I don't think... I'm, I'm doing this because the Bible says prove all things. So, the Bible is broken up into the captivities of the children of Israel. In the Old Testament, you have the ancient Babylonians, you have the Egyptians, you have the Assyrians, you have the Syrians, and then the Persian Mede. That's the last ruling power before the Apocrypha, that's the Greek captivity with Alexander the Greek and his, his um, generals. Then after that you have, uh, during the time of Christ, you have the Roman captivity where Rome were in power. So the Bible is broken down according to the captivities of the children of Israel. Okay? What they did was in the year 17, I think it was 1711, they took the Apocrypha out. So when you read the book of Galatians, there, there's no, there's neither Jew nor Greek, neither bond nor free, neither male nor female. You get confused because we were made to be Greeks when you read the history in the Maccabees. Okay, they forced us to be Greeks. They said you could not at all profess yourself to be a Jew or they will put you to death. They made you partake in their customs. That's what made us Gentiles. Okay, and we can read that in the Zordomist Compact Bible Dictionary as well. We got, we got books to show you our point of reference. So we're not making nothing up. I know y'all. I just like to prove things yeah. so there's no confusion, okay? So we're in the book of Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter you said, how did God, how did God uh, <clears throat> take dirt from <coughs> man, right? You get me, um, I'm, uh, John 1, verse 1. Read that. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, and verse 17. Mm -hmm. For he hath given me certain knowledge of things that are, namely, to know how the world was made. So Solomon knew how the world was made, come on. And the operation of the elements. So, excuse me, I apologize. The manipulation of the elements. So when we read John 1 and 1, we're gonna show you how creation was made, okay? The Most High God, he commanded it, the Word created it by the manipulation of elements. That's how things were created, that's how things were made. Mm -hmm. John 1 verse 1. John chapter 1 verse 1. Mm -hmm. In the beginning was the Word. So in the beginning was the Word. Come on. And the Word was with God. So the Word is not the most high God. The Word was with God. Come on. And the Word was God. They were on one accord. They were agree in one. So the Trinity, that whole Trinity thought, that's not a that's not a true, uh, uh, you know, that's the Council of Nicaea concoction. 
That's not a true thought. Come on. The same was in the beginning with God. So the same was in the beginning with God. Come on. All things were made by him. All things were made by him. Come on, the word. Come on. And without him was not anything made that was made. Read. In him was life. And the life was the light of men. So in him was life. So the most high God commanded Christ to make this, this spirit right here to make life. Okay. Jump down to 14. Verse 14. And the word was made flesh. So this word was physically made flesh. It was, came physically. Come on. And dwelt among us. It dwelt among men. Come on. And we beheld his glory. So people saw him. People beheld his glory. Come on. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Who's the only begotten of the Father? Christ. Christ. That's Jesus Christ. Amen. So we understand Christ was there in the beginning. So God, God commanded, let there be light. Nothing was made that was uh, he did, nothing was made without him. He made he made light. He made man. He made all these things at the commandment of the Most High God. You understand that? Absolutely. I like, I like you to go back. Absolutely. I want you to go back again to the beginning of that scripture. John one verse one. In the beginning was the Word. Yes, sir. The Word was God. The Word was with God. Yes. In Genesis one. Yeah, read. John one verse one. In the beginning was the Word, mm -hmm. and the Word was with God. So the Word was with God, come on. And the Word was God. So the Word was God, come on. The mm -hmm. same was in the beginning with God. So, because you separated that away from God, being that the Word was with God, you separated that like that was his own entity on his own. I'm going to help you out. But it wasn't with God. I mean, it wasn't God. I'm going to help you out. I'm going to help you out. I want first, yeah, I want first Corinthians 11. You get me, um, what I tell you, you give me? Can, can, I, can I ask a question? Yes. Before we digress, I don't think you answered the pastor's question. Right. I, you, you said, how did man, how did God make man, man, man from the dust? How did he, how did he make man brown? Brown, right. How did God make man brown? What color is the dust of the ground? Yeah, but but the still, could be actually that, that still doesn't mean all, it. All this says is that he that he took the dirt out of the ground, but that doesn't prove that God made the ground. That's all I'm saying. Okay, we got you. Read that, please. Jeremiah chapter fourteen, verse two. Judah mourn, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground. So it's, it's, it's clearing that up. They are black unto the ground. So it's telling you, when it says of the dust of the ground, it's letting you know they are black unto the ground. It's giving you that color. Give me Job 30 and 30. Yeah, Jeremiah yeah, 14 hold on, hold on. Hmm. Jeremiah, Jeremiah 14 2. Let's Jeremiah. go back to, re, read that Jeremiah again. Let me see that. We well, yeah, got Jeremiah 14. 14 2. 14 2. All right, I just want you. We like. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Uh -huh. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground. They're black unto the ground. Ooh. See, now that's how you interpret it, but the way we interpret this is black meaning mourning. Black meaning. Um, uh, mourning guard unto the ground. In other words, they're in mourning. Oh, yeah. You know, they're going through. They they're going will, through a hard time, especially that land. time, because Judah, land. right? Because 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 they were in a bad place because they had rebelled against God. Okay. Well, you know, and they were in a bad place. So, no, look, I, I'm not. I'm not. I promise you, I am not disagreeing with you on it. That's your interpretation, but my interpretation of this of black is just different. That's all. Yeah, I'm okay. Saying. Well, I just wonder about the use of the word black in that particular scenario because my scripture says they wail for the land. They was associating the words of crying because they were mourning. Right. It was not talking about color. No. Now I have a question. Yeah, that's just you say your your your, your interpretation or your Bible says that. The Bible says that. What Bible is that? This is an international version. Right. I want, I, want, I want to explain something about the international Sorry, version, the KJV, the other versions outside of the KJV. Um, and while we read the King James Version Bible, the King James Version Bible was translated from Hebrew and Greek into a language that we can understand. So English, Portuguese, uh, what, what have you, right? The NIV, the NKJV, the ESV, all these other Bibles, they weren't translated word for word 
as the King James was translated. The thought was translated from, from the King James Version to the ESV to the NKJV. So there's going to be word changes or mis misreadings in your Bible. I'm going to show you. Give me Job 30 verse 30. Before you go any further, just get to that one point. If you think about the thought and how the scripture is written, if all the other context around the scripture is talking about mourning and crying, all we take one word and make it black. No, the Bible makes it black. I'm just saying that. The Bible says black. If you, you said Judah mourns, her city's language. You said they're read black it, for you the read, land. You read it, you read it. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Mm -hmm. Judah mourning in the gates thereof language. So Judah is a mourning. Yes, Judah is mourning. Judah is mourning right now. Mm -hmm. The gates thereof, that's our leadership. They're lacking. They are what? They are black unto the ground. They are black unto the ground. Mm -hmm. It's giving you a description of what Judah is. <laughs> we're gonna show we're gonna keep going though. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. But you said black into the ground? Oh, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Black into the ground. Let him keep going. Okay. Yes, keep reading. Right and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. And the cry of Jerusalem has gone up. Okay. okay. And keep going. Verse 3. Mm -hmm. Okay, read verse 3. And their nobles have sent their little ones to our, the waters. Our nobles have sent their little ones to the waters. What does that mean? They was in search for water. They went to cisterns. No, brother. So then it might just be a difference in how the Bible is reading to your... To how do you study the Bible? I, 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 I want to... Let's clear it up right now. I use that to me. How, how, do you, how much you study this Bible? How much? How must you study the Bible? How must? How does the prophets tell us we must read okay. this Bible? Okay. For me, it's OIA. It's Observation, Interpretation, and Application. Okay. For, for, for me, you. for me. Oh, okay, for you. I'm sorry. Let, we'll, we'll go around the room. Go ahead. How, how much you study the Bible? The same way. Yeah, I mean, it's the observation, interpretation. Observation, interpretation. An application. An application. That's, that sounds real good. No problem interpretation. How, you agree? You agree, brother? You agree? You agree, brother? You agree? No. Oh, oh, no, no. Do you agree? No. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Are you asking? My mind, mine is different. So, you know, I'm, I, I talk. I talk to the father. I mean, me personally. I mean, I studied the Bible to make. A better way of life and peace. No, no, not so, why. How? 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 How do you study the Bible? Mm -hmm. can, can I explain what I mean by OIA before going for the I, I understand what you're saying. I understand. Well, I want to go into that group understand that. Because, okay. Because you wasn't. So, for me, observation is context. Right? Okay. That's context. And inter interpretation comes from the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. giving you the ability to actually interpret the Word of God. Because okay. in your flesh, you can't. And application comes with wisdom. That wisdom allows you to actually apply it to your life. So okay. you can go out and serve. Okay. So it's a three-step process that you can't do it alone. You have to have the Holy Spirit actually help you with that. Because I got another question for you too about. Hold on. What question at a time? <laughs> I don't want to lose the thought. So how do you study the Bible? How much? How does the prophets tell us we must study the Bible? How much? How much? How much? How much, how much we study the Bible? I mean, like every day. No, what's okay. the proper way? Process, like, just process. It. Process the information. Tell us. Yeah, because well, I know, yeah, I want to hear it. Yeah, yeah let's keep it. I mean, like, like you're, 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 you're sure. I know mine. I know, I know, I know, I know how. Keep don't, 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 don't have a certain way. I'm going to keep it all the way. I was going to kind of take it back on my chest. I need to keep it all the way 100. Yeah, I want to know exactly what's your point. Just go ahead. Like, like, I'm going to go away 100. So, you know, I've never encountered brothers like, you know what I mean, like yourself, you know what I mean, these Israel lights of in Christ, Israel in Christ, you know what I mean, so I've, I've heard a lot, you know what I'm saying, my whole persona of coming here is, what I've heard really doesn't matter, rather than getting to know brethren, you know what I'm saying, Absolutely. and um, whatever it is, whatever common ground it is that, it is that you guys share that we all hold, I want to get to that place. That's good, Pop. Because in that place, I believe, how do we work together? Because That's the key. We brother. That's good, Pop. You know what I'm saying? So I get we can go from that side to this side, and it's purple and the other color. You know what I mean? But where where do we, how do we get to that medium of, Unified. you know what I mean? The meat and potatoes of how do we all become brethren? How do we work together? How do we love each other? How do we affect this nation? You know what I'm saying? So How do we build let's, common let's, unity? So, Right? Yeah, that's it. Oh, I'm crazy. Hey, I, I like that. That's good. Do this right here. But I'm, I'm, a, I ask that question. How much you study the Bible for a reason? Isaiah twenty-eight. I got five minutes to live. Isaiah twenty-eight. 
Isaiah chapter 28, verse 9. Mm -hmm. Whom shall he teach knowledge? So who's God going to teach knowledge? The knowledge is his word. Come on. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Who shall God make to understand his Bible? Come on. <clears throat> Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. When you read 1 Peter 2 and 2, the meat, I mean the milk is the sincere milk of the word. The basis of these scriptures. Come on. For precept must be upon precept. So this is how you must study the Bible. Precept must be upon precept. Come on. Precept line upon precept. Precept yeah, yeah. upon precept. Line upon line. Line upon line. Line upon line. line, upon line. line, upon line. line upon uh -huh. Here a little, there, there a little. little. So yeah. that's how you must study the Bible. You can't read this Bible like a novel and expect to get understanding. Yeah. So I'm going to love first thing. Here what you got here. Let's do that on the author. 2 oh, uh, Peter's 1. Let's go to 2 Peter's 1. Chapter 1 and verse 20. Uh huh. Knowing this first, we gotta all understand this. Uh, know this first, come on. That no prophecy of the scripture is of uh, any private interpretation. This Bible explains itself. Everything that comes out or proceeds out of our mouth is gonna come straight from the understanding of this Bible. So, question: Do you believe you can interpret the Word of God without the Holy Spirit? What's the Holy Spirit? Let's deal with that. Do, don't answer a question <laughs> with a question. I, right. I asked the question. We gotta deal with the Holy Spirit to to. To even understand the question, though. <coughs> okay. You shake your head no, but we don't have to understand what the so, Holy so Spirit so is. It's a, it's to a simple question. It, I, I want to I go somewhere real quick before I go any further with this. Me personally. <clears throat> so where I get a little resistant to anybody else is you discredited the word I'm reading for the sake of proving your point. Now that may have not hold on. That may have not been your intent, but that was my perception earlier we were talking about this in the work. So from that point of view, it seems like everything that I'm asking you, you're giving me a to prove your point instead of trying to actually listen to what I'm asking. So my question is, can you <coughs> interpret the word of God can I, can I without say, the Holy Spirit? Can I answer that first part first? Yeah, sure. I was, uh, nothing we're doing here is meant to discredit your, your, I don't want you to get defensive. I'm not. Okay. No, I'm just making a point. Bro, I, get I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want. I appreciate that. I don't I want. Appreciate well, hold that. on, hold on. I, want to be clear. I appreciate that. Don't take the question I'm asking is from candor. I'm gonna answer as the defensiveness. Because mm -hmm. when your words were, my Bible is inaccurate compared to your Bible. Yeah. And I'm that was, gonna, hold on. That was the point that you made. Can I prove so, that to you? So yeah. So hold on. So my point is, I'm not getting defensive. I'm just asking a candid question okay. regarding the difference that we got actually read our particular Bible. So I'm going to help you out with that. And it's the reason why I say, I said I made that statement. It's the reason why I made that statement. Can you pull up, um, get, go to Slack, get the article, get that article for me, please. The understanding of the, uh, the translations. Give me Isaiah. I want Isaiah. Uh, I want the Holy, the Holy Spirit. You get me at <clears throat> Can I say, I want to. So, what you. Did you ask? Well, I want to hear what I'm you about to answer well, the Holy Ghost. About, no, well, I want to see. We, we, I'm sorry, and this is, my, this is my fault. We kind of got bounced around a little bit. I never really fully got a quite good answer on the word black in terms of this particular spray in Jeremiah because Jeremiah was called the weeping prophet. So, his entire book was about the mourning of the people that he wrote about. So I'm still struggling with the fact you still pulled the word black from a color perspective out of a script I was talking about, the people weak. And I just so, went to the, the, that's like the actual I I want, context. I want, you to, I want you to understand something about me. I'm, I'm gonna explain something. I can get pulled away over here, over there. We gotta stay, we gotta stay on point. You can ask a million questions, because I'm, I'm gonna try to take you there and explain it to you. That's why, so let's start with it. Let's finish up the point about the color. Yeah, the color. Okay. Let's finish that point. We'll get it. Yes, second sir. point is the Holy Spirit. The third point is the translation. So, so remember, remember, I got it. The color and the Bible. Color, the Holy Spirit and the, trans and the translation of the Bible. We'll go from there. All right. We, we, we clear with that, right? Yep. Okay. Job 30 30, Song of Solomon 1 and 5, Lamentations 4. I want, uh, yeah, I want, I want, yeah, I want Christ. I want Christ. I want, um, I want Solomon. Yeah, what did you I want doing? Job. 
Joe, chapter 30, verse 30. I was like, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. 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 i am sorry i Somebody explain that to me. My skin is black upon me and my bones are burning. Could it be from the sun? Uh, my skin is black and my bones burn when you when you get when you when you're in the sun for a long time, your skin gets dark and you, you feel it. Your bones are on fire. If you burn long enough, you're in the desert, I'm sure you're gonna get burned. Your bones burn when you feel it in your bones when you burn, your fo your bones are on fire. You ever been in the desert? I was actually in Cairo. Have you been, ever been to Egypt? I've been to Afghanistan, okay. I was in Iraq, and I was in Iran. Okay. I was in Bahrain, and I was in Djibouti. Okay. Yes. When you, when you were in the sun for a long period of time, you didn't feel the... Well, it's a little different for, for me. Like, uh, um, the, the okay. melanin won't allow me to burn. Oh, it allowed sorry. me to... I'm sorry, bro. It, allow, it won't allow me to physically burn. I don't physically burn, but I, I, I feel the heat. Like, I'll scale up, and I was in... Uh, when I was in Hawaii, I was in Hawaii for three months. Uh, we was riding with a, I had wife, a wife beater on. We was riding with the top down, and you know I kind of started itching. My skin would peel, but you know I, I don't burn. I don't burn from the heat. Maybe, you know, maybe. we're still talking maybe about. He was a white man. We're still said, talking about mourning, though. Yeah. He said, my, and, and we're still talking about skin, mourning. And my the skin scoops. burns, grows black and peels. My body burns with heat. That's my particular. Therefore, Bible, my, the Bible didn't say that. Uh, give me Song of Solomon, please. This is Solomon. This is Christ. This is Christ. Christ's grand, great grandfather. Could you read that for me, please? Song of Solomon, chapter one, verse five. I am black but comely. Comely means handsome. Solomon said, "I am black but comely. I am black and I'm handsome." That's not a sign of mourning. Yeah, we got I agree with that. In that context, absolutely. What are you reading? He's a song of Solomon, right? Yeah, I agree with you on that. We talking about Jeremiah. We talking about Jeremiah. You were just hitting different. Solomon. He's trying to make his point. He's trying to make his point. Hold on. This is what happens when you try to change the narrative. Right. 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 Jeremiah was called the weeping prophet because he wrote about the mourning of the people. His entire book was about mourning. So that's what we were talking about, the folks that she was about mourning. When you go in the Song of Solomon, you're with a different author, a different, a different, a whole different set, set of scriptures. So I just want to make sure that when you go back to what he was saying, mm -hmm. when you use the word we're talking about mourning, yeah. okay. different books. Okay. okay. Yeah, see that's what different you know, context. That's the difference. Oh, okay. okay so yeah, Psalm I mean, But uh, no, it's fine. I give me um, you give me Psalms 111 verse 10. Let's start here. Let's start here. Okay, color. We we color whatever. Okay, we're, we're not gonna deal with color. We're gonna start here. Chapter 111 verse 10. Revelation 22 14. Yeah. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So the beginning of the wisdom of this Bible is you must fear God. Amen. God gave the God gave law, statutes, and commandments. That we must abide by. Okay, and fearing God, you're gonna keep those law, statutes, and commandments. So the fear of lo the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Come on, mm -hmm. a good understanding. So a good understanding of His Bible. Yeah. Have all they that uh, do His commandments. So a good understanding have all they that do His commandments. And I'm gonna show you what's important about doing the commandments of God. Mm -hmm. Revelation 22 verse 14, the last book of the Bible. Read the book of Revelation, chapter 22 verse 14. Come on. Blessed are they that do. His commandments. So all these people in church talking about they're blessed. I'm blessed because I got a Bentley. I'm blessed because I got this. God says, blessed are they that do his commandments. Amen. Come on. That they may have right to the tree of life. That you may have right. You got to earn the right to the tree of life. Come on. And may enter in through the gates into the city. That's heavy right there. That you may enter into the gates of the city. So you got to earn the right to the tree of life and enter into the gates of the city. Let's get the gates of the city. The book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 12. Come on. 
and had a wall great and high. So the kingdom of heaven has a wall great and high, come on. And had 12 gates. How many gates, brother? And had 12 gates. It's 12 gates into the kingdom of heaven. Read. And at the gates, 12 angels. And at, at each one of those gates is 12 angels, come on. And names written thereon. And there's names written on those gates. What's written on those gates, brother? Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So the ruling class in the kingdom of heaven is going to be the children of Israel. Okay. To get an understanding of this Bible, what must you be doing? What must you be doing, brother, to get an understanding of this Bible? Read it again. Psalms 111, verse 10. Uh -huh. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So the fear of the Lord means you're keeping his law, statutes, and commandments because you fear him. You fear the judgment that's going to come upon you if you don't keep those commandments. Yes, Read. Who were these laws given to? The book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. I want you to read down. Don't just read 19. Read down in context. He showeth his word unto Jacob. So this word, this Bible, was shown unto Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. He's the forefather of the 12 tribes. Come on. His statutes and his judgments. His statutes. Israel. Don't read so fast, brother. His statutes and his judgments. The statutes are the law, statutes, and commandments. The judgments are the penalties for breaking those law, statutes, and commandments. Who did he send them to? Unto Israel. Unto the children of Israel. Read. Read down. He has not read. dealt so with any nation. He ain't dealt so with any other nation. Right. The other nations don't have the laws of the Most High God. Right. He ain't dealt with the other nations like that. Come on. And as for his judgment. And as for the judgments, meaning the penalties for breaking the law, statutes, and commandments. They have not known them. They have not known them because they don't pertain to them. God is a God is for the children of Israel. This book right here is written to, for, and about the children of Israel. It's broken down from uh, covenant to covenant with the children of Israel, from the Old Covenant to the New Covenant that pertains to the children of Israel. Give me that in Romans 9, please. Give me that in Romans 9. Wrong. But to understand this Bible, you must be keeping the commandments. Read. Romans chapter 9, verse 3. Come on. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ. Who's this speaking? Paul. This is Paul. He said, I wish that myself were accursed from Christ. Come on. For my brethren. For my brethren. My kinsmen. His kinsmen. According to the flesh. Meaning by nationality. This is who he's talking about. What was Paul? Right here. Mm -hmm. The book of Romans chapter 11 and verse 1. Come on. I say then, have God cast away his people? Has God cast away the Israelites? God forbid. No. Come on. For I also am an Israelite. Paul said, I also am an Israelite. Come on. Of the seed of Abraham. Of the seed of Abraham through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Read. Of the tribe of Benjamin. Paul was an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. So who is his brother and his kinsman according to the flesh? Verse 4. Who are Israelites? Who are who, brother? Who are Israelites? The whole earth, brother. Who are Israelites? Come on. To whom pertain? Pertain, pertain means belong. So to whom belongeth what? The adoption. Let's see what the adoption is. Galatians 4, okay. verse 5. Galatians. Chapter. You got something to say, bro? Galatians. Hold on, I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish in a second. Chapter 4 and verse 5. So this pertains to the Israelites. Let's see what the adoption is. Come on. To redeem them that were under the law. We just read in Psalms 147, 19 and 20 that God gave the laws to the children of Israel. So the adoption is to redeem them that were under the law. Come on. That <clears> we. <throat> that we. Who is the we there? Is that the whole earth? It says to redeem them that were under the law. That we. Come on. Might receive the adoption of sons. That we might receive the adoptions of sons. We just read in Romans 9 that the adoption pertains to the Israelites. Come on. And because ye are sons, now that your sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son. God sent forth the spirit of his son. God sent forth Christ, come on. Into your hearts, crying. Into, into our minds, crying what? Abba, Father. So now when we read Matthew 6, we can say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. We can say that now because we're brought back into the fold. Because the adoption pertains to who, brother? Who are Israelites? Uh -huh. To whom pertaineth the adoption? The adoption, come on. And the glory. The glory is the kingdom of heaven, come on. And the covenants. The covenants. What are the covenants? 
So what are the covenants? Yeah. In, in all the, it's the law, but in all, in, no, in the covenants aren't the law. The I'm covenants sorry, are the Old and New Testament. It, it, it's the agreement. That, but it's the agreement between the, God. The people. covenant is the Old and New Testament. Yeah, you know, there's the a new covenant. God and people. Yeah, it's the New Testament. What is the new covenant? Grace. Yes. What is the new covenant? It's grace through Jesus Christ. Yes. So is grace apart from the law? Is grace? No, grace is not apart from the law. So you can't get to heaven without who? Without keeping the laws and faith in Christ. Exactly. Wonderful. So, so when Paul talks about release from the law in Romans seven, I believe. <clears throat> what law? What Eight, law are we talking nine. about? Release from the law bound to Christ under Romans. What law? Romans 7. What law did Christ come and fulfill? What well, law? Well, actually, Christ can fulfill all the laws. He fulfilled all the laws. He, 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 he can rape and murder. I can rape and murder. No, that's not what I said. You say he fulfilled all the laws. I didn't come to the uh, Now hold on for a second. Now I'll let you guys read passage after passage. We're not finished. Passage. We finished. Yeah, we got to at some point, you know what I mean, be able to at least break. Well, you know, already said my Bible was not worth the crap. So. But to that piece, <laughs> I mean, but to that piece. <laughs> hey, brother, stop. We, we, I'm not getting defensive, no, brother. No, 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 but no, you no, just, no, but no, you, no, you, no, you no, but you just told, no, I'm not. You just told me that your Bible is correct, mine is not. So everything that I read out of my Bible, you're going to say is not accurate, correct? By your own what, words. What I'm going to say is this. So by, my, by your own words. My, so so what, what I'm, I'm going to let you keep reading because you want to no, keep reading. What I'm going to say is this, What I'm going to say is this. We're not, we're not getting emotional. I got some things to say. I want you to say I want you to say what you need to say. I got some things to say. Say it, bro. All right, so. Because like <laughs> we got to enjoy each other, man. Yeah, yeah, that's the last time we get to meet each other. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know. Cause I mean I know we went from Romans seven and then we hit all the way up on eleven or whatever the case is, but you know if I'm not mistaken, recalling the scriptures that talk about how you know when you talk about with the covenants or whatever, or we need to fulfill, or we talked about the the commandments piece, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then Christ came and says, well I ain't come to do away with stuff, you know what I mean? But I came to fulfill it, you know. And then one of the disciples asked, well what's the greatest commandments of all all the commandments? And then he hit on boom. Was love the Lord thy God with all love. the heart, mind, body, and soul, mm. and then love your neighbor as you love yourself, and upon these two, then all is fulfilled. So in those two, in, 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 in those two, that, those two, those it, two it, are paraphrased from the Ten Commandments. Ten Commandments. Yeah. 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 Paraphrased from the Ten Commandments that, that Christ that, taught when yeah. he was on the earth. The first people of God, the last six for people. Yeah. Is that so? Because I, and again, I don't even want to ask it because it kind of, kind of goes against something you said, and I don't want to deal with that. A combativeness because I don't think anything I say will change what you guys have, vice versa. <laughs> That's very you know, true. That's very um, true. Um, no, but but I want to hear because I want to I want to hear. You know what I'm saying? I want to understand. <clears throat> you know what, what, what you guys know, but you know the doing away of the law. If I'm not mistaken, again is that whole. It couldn't be fulfilled those Ten Commandments because you know I could I could give tithe. And and not have a have a heart to give unto God. I'm doing it out of programming, of uh, fulfilling a checklist versus you know what I mean loving you know uh, my neighbor to the point to where I won't commit adultery. Or well, 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 you can boast. All right, or so, you can boast because Hebrews, you didn't do it. Hebrews, uh, give me that in Hebrews. Hebrews. So, uh, so, 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 so hold on, we're gonna, we gonna do no, 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 so, so one we more, gonna do it. So one more one more point. So 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 to so that piece of fulfilling the law. I, I, get, I know I feel you on that, but but the. the Feeling of the law, mm -hmm. it, it, and then it talks about the the sonship or the heirs and not walking according to flesh and you know what I'm saying. And then I didn't come for the Jews or the Gentiles, but I came that all yeah. might be heirs. I'm I'm a little you know st struggling in that area too. You know I'm, what I'm mean? gonna help you out. One I, second, one second. Let me cut I in this. Love everybody, and then you. My main question right here, and on. this is on this is on both sides. My main question on both sides is like this here. Are y'all purposes to go out to change lives, to make difference in people's lives? I mean, what is your purpose in the streets wise? I mean, what is your street ministry? I mean, is it to save, deliver, set free, love on people? I mean, you know, say if this man want to join the Israelite, can he join? Can he put on the purpose shirt? If, if his lineage can he put on the purpose shirt? If his lineage is from <coughs> Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Is your lineage from Abraham, Jesus. Isaac, and Jacob? I don't know, but it's yours. Yes, but your lineage too, then, right? I mean, spiritually through Christ. Okay. What about you, my friend? I, I don't want to get into. What about you, Minister Mark? 
Well, we we no, all are dog. Dog. Hold on, I'm just asking you one of my life, life just to your point that we're all nah, Christians. Hold up, you are Christian. You actually what you actually mean? live under the blood of Christ. You, you actually live under the blood of Christ. It's not about law. Uh, no disrespect to you guys. We just read in Revelation 22. I know that, but I, I, I also got scripture in, in all the Gospels that says that if you live under the blood of Christ, because you can, cannot can, fulfill can the law. Can we read one thing? Because y'all are, are touching on the same note. But I'm going to read one thing. Not read that not, not, who, got, who got an issue that they're dealing with, and how can we help you become better, whatever issue it is that you're struggling with? We can, we can get saying? to that. We can get to, we can get to drinking. We can get to lust. We can get to... Uh, uh, all these inordinate sins. We can get to all of those different things, but you must know who you are because these these laws don't apply to everybody. That's what do you mean true. everybody? We what is everybody? The whole thing we disagree with. That's that's what I'm saying. And that's okay. That's okay. So it must not apply to me. Read Amos three. Amos three and one. I mean, I don't get it. No, no. You gotta understand. Go ahead. I don't get it. Okay, but we Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna read the book of Amos chapter three, verse one. Yes, sir. It says, hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, mm -hmm. against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Verse 2, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Why is God going to only punish the children of Israel for their iniquities? Because the laws were only given to the children of Israel. That so he's not an Israelite. He's not but that was before Christ, brother. That was before. Give me Matthew 5. I, I, I don't understand. I got one. You're not Israel. I want to get into 2 1 2. So go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. You're not Israel. Uh, I'm, I'm me. I'm me, man. I'm not Israel. Yeah, I'm not Israel. That's what I'm saying. I'm with you. I'm just hoping I get in. That's all I'm saying. Hold on. Let my man speak right now. But he asked the question. He asked the question. Let my man speak right now. Hold up. 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 Everybody, hold on. Everybody, just, just watch, just listen to him. Yeah. Everybody, listen to it. You know, let them cruise. I'm, I'm trying to say, see, I know, to, be, to be quite respectful I about that. Hold on. To be quite respectful about that, we've been listening. Absolutely. You have ran through passage after passage. But you after, didn't listen. No, we did. We did, brother. Mm -hmm. We just you. Hold on, brother. The first thing you did when you told me that my Bible was in No, 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 I'm supposed to automatically receive what yeah, you're real, telling me? That's real, I mean, that's a real question. From, with, from where you Because you mean. came in and told me we got the Bible was we got proof. Can we bring out the proof why okay. I said the Bible is inaccurate? Okay, boom. Can we... Everything I'm a man. Can we read question? Let him ask the question. I know we got something to say. But yeah, let him ask the question. Hold on. Hold on one second. Let's go ahead, oh, man. Can, can I, may I? Hold on one second. I don't want to because for me. Let him ask the question. No, no. Really, honestly. The, what, I, what, I'm, what I'm getting at is, I'm, we're all using they, them, mm. right? And we're in their house, or let them speak, right? I want to start using we us. and us. Because here's the thing, the one thing I see that, that we're, that's, that's bringing us all here, which I love, for, when y'all first came in the door, I, I see what you're about. That, that last phrase on your shirt says Christ. Right, so let me let me get in this for one second. Mark, King James version, right? That's the one, that's what we should be, King James version. So, Mark eight, starting at twenty-seven. And Jesus went out and his disciples into the towns of Caesarea Philippi. And by the way, he asked his disciples, saying unto them, "Who do men say that I am?" Mm. And they answered, "John the Baptist." But so mm -hmm. some say Elias, and others one of the prophets. And he saith unto them, "But whom say ye that I am?" And Peter answered, answered and saith unto him, Thou art the Christ. So, who do, you, who do we say he is? Anybody can ask. Who do we say he is? You, I mean, you got the Christ on your shirt, so I know what you represent. I know what I got. I know who I represent. And I think that's the one common thread that we hear for, right? Christ, right? But all, all the others, all the, I mean, but I, but I, wanna, I know who I say he is. I know who you say he is. I know who you say he is. I know who I say I am. But I just want to know, who is he? So I, who is he? Oh, hold on. Can, 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 I just, want, I just want to hear it. Who is he, man? Who, is, who, who do you say he is? Or who do we say he is? Matthew 121. No, no, no. Not the, no, 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 no. I want to know. I got that. I, I can read that. I got you. But can you just tell me without, I know, I, I'm with you. Who do you say he is? 
to you. He want to see your heart. Next Who do you mind. say he is, though? To I can you. read that. I mean, I got it. Heart, not my mind. I got it. Heart, I got it. I got the book. He got yeah. Bibles. I've to been you. had the book. Yeah. We got Bibles too. Oh, as a matter of fact, I got. Who do you say he is, my, my man? Right? Who do you say he is? Who do you say he is? Say, who do you say? I, I got you, brother. I understand. I I, I know your heart, mm -hmm. and, and you and you sharp with the sword. I mean, cold blooded with it. I like it, but I want to know who do you say he is, brother? I mean, who do you say he? I mean, I I because everybody here, we all different have our ones. own different points, and that, that's what makes this thing beautiful, man. We all get to say our own understanding of what we get from this word. You know what I mean? Can I answer? And the question? that's why I just want I just want to hear. You know, you. And my other brothers, I would love to hear what, who you say he is. You know what I mean? But I would love to hear my, my brother in the back. Who do you say he is, man? I'm just okay, go ahead. I got you. Can I say who he is? Yes, sir. He's the savior of his people. Love it. Matthew 1, 20. Why do you say his people? Because the Bible says his people. Can we, hold, can we say our? Matthew. I think a question that. there. I think people, everybody, apart from, apart from, you know, when he asked the question about, if it's not Israel, apart if you're not if your bloodline is not Israel, what are we? What are the others go from there? Yeah, that's yeah. That's the who, question. Who, I so who, that, who, that's who, what. Who, that's who, that, who, that, who, that, I, I think that's what who, I hear. Is it everybody asks. So they want to know about the other nations. Correct. Because well, if, let me say, if, say if, you, if you're not made from those, if you're not made from those, yes. Then before we go, I wrote like, "What hope is it for me?" Before we go there, though. Okay. Before we go there, though. Second Andrew six. Verse 54. I still don't know. You, um, you know, be convicted. I know, but I just want to know. What you reading? I haven't heard. Sir, what are you reading? Who do you say? It don't matter what. Ezra 6 and 4. 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 Ezra I I don't don't time, right? yeah. That's why I want to. That's why I just because I want to because this is going to lead to like whatever. Like this is going to lead to the next question, like the, the sole purpose outside of do me like that. the people of Israel if they're not because obviously everybody straight up everybody's not Israel. Everybody on the earth, not Israeli or not oh, Israel, a church, not Israel because the land mass that are called Israel over there was established in nineteen forty. Because everybody's not Israel, so we want to figure out. Two questions, two fold questions. Who is who are the people who are not? That's the first question. And what it, the soul like the, the soul how your how does your outreach ministry work and how does it affect lives from your perspective and the Bible? Obviously the Bible. Okay, so that's what that's what I think everybody wanna to get to so we can kind of really have a dialogue. Okay. So uh you give me Deuteronomy seventy six first. I'm gonna read I'm gonna read three Go ahead, bro. You're going to read three? Go I'm going to read three passages. You asked me a question. I'm going to read three passages to explain the whole thought that you just you just asked, right? Okay. But I want to read this first. This is the Zordifus Compact Bible Dictionary. It's a Bible dictionary. It explains something. Because uh, I hear Gentiles and heathens. And I explained earlier with the Apocrypha, um, we became Gentiles or heathens. Well, we couldn't partake in our customs to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. We were forced to become heathens or Gentiles, or uncircumcised, as the Bible calls it, in the New Testament. Read that, please. This is your Zonovan Compact. Read it real fast. Read it fast. Oh. Compact Bible Dictionary. All right. Gentiles. Usually, it means a non-Israelite people. So Gentile usually means a non-Israelite people. Okay? So we hear Gentiles. Usually... It means a non-Israelite people. We became Gentiles when you read the book of 1 Maccabees. We were forced to eat swine's flesh. We were forced not to keep the Sabbath or even call ourselves Jews. And we can read that in the Bible. But we're going we're gonna to deal with the point the brother asked. He said, well, what about the other people? Get me, uh, I, want, I want Deuteronomy 7 and 6 first, who God chose, and then we're going to deal with the other people. We're going to deal with it in order, all right? Read it loud. So Chapter I want 7, to verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Come on. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So God chose a particular people to be special unto himself. Come on. Above all people. So not equal, 
not integrated above all people, come on, that are upon the face of the earth. Read. The Lord did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people. Come on. For ye were the fewest of people, of all people. You were the fewest of all people, come on. But because the Lord loved you, wow. and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, hath the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand, and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. So who's, who did God chose? Who is this? He's he chose them all. But because the Lord loved you, and because he would keep the oath which he had sworn unto your fathers, unto Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, come on, hath the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Who did God redeem out of the house of Pharaoh? From the hand of uh, Pharaoh, from the uh, bombman. Huh? The Israelites. It wasn't just the Jews. Jew was short for Judah. He, he got the whole, all 12 tribes and walked them through the Red Sea. We got you, bro. We know this. That's who God chose. Now, give me give me Isaiah 40, verse 15. No, I want 2 Ezra first. 2 Ezra, chapter 6, verse 54. Mm -hmm. And after these, Adam also... Whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. That's why when you read Psalms 82 and 60, it says, Ye are gods. Come on. Well, can I, well, hold on. Can I interrupt you? Let me interrupt you one time. Whenever you're, whenever you're, whatever, because you're good at it, and I know you could do it, but whenever you use a reference, use our Bible reference. Psalms 82 and 6. That's it. Okay, that. all right. Psalms you know, I'm saying that that's because that's what we live by. We live by this word of God. That's why I said you know, something. But I'm saying something that that's choices. but that's a different that's something different. This is not us. different. This Bible this Bible here, I'm, I'm and we're gonna read the same thing in the book of Isaiah. But this Bible is with what was translated in sixteen eleven. We right. have a form that's that was not of the original. Can I read something right quick? Just nah, I wanna hear Young Butt right quick. Cause Cause I ask you, ahead, Cause he got a serious question. Ask you he the youngest one in here right quick. Please. I just want to hear what you got to say. Uh, I just want to see like how is like we like how is like our views can be like so different from yours, basically. Now, that is a very interesting question coming from a young cat. You feel what coming from y'all? We got to understand our next generation that is coming up, man. Oh, we can't keep that's confusing a, these young people. That's a good, what's your name, brother? Samante. Samante, that's a very good question. It's a good question how our views can be changed or, or marred from the views of everybody else. And we read that earlier, Psalms 111 verse 10. Yeah. But I can't, I can't finish, I can't finish the point. I'm going to answer your question too. After he answer it, I'm a, I got to answer too. Okay. Okay. Psalms, chapter 111, verse 10. <clears throat> the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. So you must be keeping the commandments to understand this Bible. So it can be misinterpreted, misunderstood if you're not keeping the commandments, which... The Which commandment? All right, so here we. Or the Which, Which commandment are you talking about? Just, 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 All of the commandments. <laughs> the only thing Christ. Let's just talk see, about. I, well, 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 because we did. Well, well, see, what, happens, what happens though is that you you like jump all over the Bible. Precept upon precept. I get that. I get that. You don't get it. That's why you're confused. No, I'm not confused. I know what I believe, brother. We just disagree. Can we finish this point? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just can't finish this point like that. Well, I think you got a problem with somebody disagreeing. We can agree to disagree. We can agree to disagree because we're going to let God be true. But it sounds like if I disagree with you, you saying that I'm not going to let go. No, that's fine, brother. You can disagree. That's not going to change what's written in this Bible. No, it's not. That's, that's, what we, we gotta, that's the common ground we can understand. That's not going to change the word. So what is the... Uh, Hold on, he, want, he, he asked okay, the question. Yeah, can I, can I answer, answer that? Yeah, answer that. Can I answer no, that? Let's answer the question. Yeah, answer the question. I want to know if I'm going to have heaven because I'm white. Is he answering the question? Go ahead, man. Straight up. Hold on, hold on. I can not stop. Hold on. I'm not going to answer it. I'm 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 going to answer it. I've got a question for our group. He go there. For any question that would come up, anybody in this room has a question been answered. No, not to me. Well, then that's my point. Alright, so with y'all on y'all. So about the other people. Two passages already, right? We ain't trying to read the third one. After he finished the other passages. After he finished, what passage you on? Can you read second Ezra? Second Ezra. Hold up. Chapter 6, verse 54. And after these, Adam also, 
whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. God made it Adam Lord of all the creatures. Come on. Of him come we all. We all come from Adam. Mm -hmm. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. But God got a chosen people that he chose unto himself. That point has been made. All this have I spoken before thee. He asked the question. All this have I spoken before thee. Come on. O Lord. Because thou madest the world for our sake. God made the world for the sake of the Israelites. Come on. As for the other people. That's the question, right? As for the other people. Which also come of Adam. They come from Adam too. <laughs> thou hast said. God has said. Where? In the book of Isaiah 40. Thou hast said. That they are nothing. What did God say? That they are nothing. Come on. But be like unto spittle. Read. And has likened the abundance of them. Unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Wow. Isaiah 43, sir. What scripture was that? I'm sorry. What chapter? I'm not following Christ. Second I guess I'm not going to follow Christ anymore. I'm not going to follow Christ anymore. I'm not going to follow Christ anymore. No, I'm not going to follow Christ anymore. I'm just saying, man. Hold on, man. Hold on. I'm getting offended. I'm getting offended about it. 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 I'm getting offended Ezra. 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 Ezra.
No, it was Jews that believed no, on him. He said the Jews. The that, chief priests, the scribes, and Pharisees, but they that, wanted to kill Christ. It was Jews that believed on Christ. Yes, sir. Right. It was, yes. And, and there were a lot of Jews that own didn't reject him. He just own he didn't reject him. He just, he just rejected him. He just rejected him. He just rejected him. Jesus himself he just was a Jew. Yes. Right. Yes. yes. And he had a crew with him. Yes. But there was a they whole bunch of Jews that didn't right. receive him. Right. right. You 100 so not right. all the Jews. You 100 Not all the Israelites. But Jews. No. The way you just stated that. Not all the Israelites. But the way you just stated that. But the way you just stated that. But the way you just stated that. And so he opened it up to everybody But the way you just stated that. The way you stated that, right. He went to his home. Was that everybody, all the Jews were Jacob, 12, that's why he went no, to everybody he had 12 else. Jewish disciples, right? Yeah. So, so here's the here's, so here's, so here's the here's the bottom line question here. So, yeah, so what again? You you finished with the three passages? I'm not. All right, go ahead. I, I mean, I want to rebuttal. What rebuttal him, but, but it should be a rebuttal. Read the book of John. We in the same chapter. Chapter one. Chapter what? Chapter one. Come on. Yes. Verse eleven. Read. He came unto his own. Uh huh. And in his, in his own mm -hmm. received him not. Come on. But as many as received him, mm -hmm. uh -huh. to them gave he power. Come on. To become the sons of God. Absolutely. So what is that? Go to Mark. Go to Mark. That's good stuff right there. Go to Mark. What was that? John 1 what? 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 John 1 and he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things come on. and be rejected <coughs> of the elders. Oh, of who? Of the elders. So the elders, come on. And the chief, chief priests. And the yeah. scribes. Yeah. scribes. And be killed. Yes. And after that, that was my day, question. That was so again. The elders, before. the chief priests, and the scribes. We had, Christ had a large following. Can I, he, didn't, he did not go to his people. Because they rejected him. The chief right? priests, the scribes, and the elders rejected Christ. Right. That's who rejected him. He had followers. What so he would not he just leave them and then go to another what about, so what about the crowd? Christ, Christ, Christ ain't teaching. Christ ain't teaching. Nobody went to the synagogues talking to the elders. John 18, verse 20. I'm a, oh, oh, so before, you before you leave Mark. Right? Before you leave Mark. Before you leave Mark. He and John. You said he went to the synagogues teaching. You say, hey, hey, bro, you say he went to the synagogue's teacher, right? Yes. Yeah. John 18 and 20. Let's see what we talk about. John one. chapter 18. I'm verse a, 20. I'm a sinner and Jesus he Jesus answered him. Oh, right back. Jesus answered him. I spake openly to the world. Christ, I speak openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue. What Christ taught? I ever taught in the synagogue. Synagogue? And in the temple. In the temples. Whither the Jews always resort. Read. And in, the, and in secret have I said nothing. So outside of the temples and the synagogues? Where the Jews resort, Christ ain't teach. Bro, yo, I don't know my father. So let me ask you. So whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, 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 sermon on the mount? I don't even know how to trace my lineage. Real quick. Real quick. What's okay. I get it. I heard everything. So now let's break it down. What? Can y'all can y'all stand up just real quick? About everybody in this room. Can y'all just stand up real quick? Okay. Just a quick example. Just you stand up real quick. So if... All of these guys, this is a real question, are it are Jews, but they want to accept Christ. What happened? Or Israel. Oh. If they want to accept Christ, if they want Christ in their life, and they want to change, if they're not Israelites, what happened? Let's see what Christ says. Matthew, Book 15, of Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ didn't come to save everyone. Matthew 15, what? 24. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, for what? So what you just said. Not, not please, Bible, just what you just said is, just if, you're, if your lineage, I know, I know what the Bible said. If the, I'm just trying to understand. If the Bible just said what you just read, if my lineage is not Israel, I won't make it into heaven. No. Is that, what you're saying? is that what you're saying? I want you to understand this. I just want, I, I, I don't know. Just yes or no? Simple question, bro. The kingdom of the question. I got no truth. I'm just saying, did I just hear that? Put it this way. Is that your All I'm saying is, is this what I just heard? Right. I'm just asking, is that that's your interpretation from the word, right? I ain't saying I'm just saying, that's all what nations, I heard. All nations are going to be in the kingdom. Okay. But what what is the difference between an Israelite in the kingdom and a non-Israelite in the kingdom? There's a ruling class and a servant class. So we'll, if I'm not Israel, 
I will be a servant class. Yes. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, because I want to be a servant class. Amen. That's what the Bible talks about. That's right. That's right. That's right. He who is the servant gets more now, than the ruling class. Now, I don't know if it's Thank you. Now, how do I know if I'm Israel? That's, good. That's, good. That's, That's a good question. I was watching. Oh, hold on. Mayor, Come on. I know we was on. We got him. Man, you cheat, man. Mayor, I'm just asking. You the blood of Christ. I do. Do you believe? I just want to know. We all believe in Christ. No matter what. I just want to know, because my question be, how do you, how do you share the gospel, not the law, how do you share the gospel with homosexuals? Because they don't have it. I got a question for you. They don't have it. See, so we're still answering question to question. Right? How do we share the gospel to, to a homosexual? Yes, sir. First and foremost, if they're Israelite, we bring the laws to them so that they may be converted, that their sins may be blotted out. How do you know if they're an Israelite? That's the question. You yeah. said if there is. So, 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 is it, is it, so, is it, hold on, hold on, hold on, no, bro, no, hold, hold, hold. You made it, I asked you a question, you answered it, correct? I asked you a question, you answered it, correct? Right? I didn't answer the question fully, no. You didn't? You said, hey, I answered fully, that's what he said. Okay, we'll continue. So, ask the question, boy. Ask the question, I, I, no, no, I, my question, like, no, my this, question, this, this no, is the frustration here. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take the frustration here. We, we want to stop saying they, the them, the us, and we want to start saying the we's, right? So, let's, let's, let's do this. We were invited here by this brother here. Yes, he, heard, he heard us speak. He was like, man, that's, that's very compelling. You're coming out of the Bible. You know, I want you to come amongst these brothers and, and you know, show them what y'all have, have to bring forth. What fruit y'all have to bring forth. I love it. Now, now this is the thing. We read it out of the Bible, whether you want to accept it or not. I got to say this. The King James Version of the Bible that was translated from Hebrew and Greek in the year 1611, 1611. had the Old Testament, the what they call the Apocrypha, Apocrypha. today, yes. and the New Testament. We all have the same history. I want we you got that. But when we, we read all out, got that. We all got but that. We know, we know of, some of the stuff was taken out. We know that. But when we're reading out of that book, no, don't read out of that no, book. No, 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 no. That's just, that's not it. But may I, may I, and then you did have a couple people say that. You did have a couple people say that. You did have a couple people say that. This is another frustration. Yeah, I did say that. This is the other frustration. I understand. I understand. This is the other frustration. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Your mom? Yes, yes, yes. I did. But this is the frustration. I'm coming in over my time a little bit, guys. I I usually try to get out of here before, you know what I'm saying, usually time is up. Y'all man got to go, so, you know, we're trying to get his question out the way. I just want to, I want to, I don't know, did you get your, I don't want to give you an answer. Okay. All right. What was your question one more time? How I'm gonna even go ahead. How is it, uh, we all Christian, but then like y'all views are so different. It's, yeah. This is what we're supposed to do. And my answer is, I don't see any difference. Be honest with you. I don't see a difference in what they doing and what I'm doing. This is what he told me to do. Love. Okay. This is what he told me to do. So I don't. But here's the thing is, I don't know if who I who I say he is and who other people say he is is the same. Because this is what he told me. This is what he told me to do. So hopefully that gives you a better understanding. Because I know you're a babe in Christ, right? You still get this. I know I wouldn't. I didn't understand when I was your age either. But if you do, if you love, right? Then if you do that wholeheartedly, then you'll keep the commandments and you'll do those different things. You, you'll, you. He might not be perfect, but if you truly love him, then you'll love your neighbor. And you'll keep those. You'll do all. You'll do all that stuff will fall in place. You want with me? What's your name, brother? The first one says love him with all your might. If you can't get past yes, the I love what you just said. You with me? Uh, hey, hey, yeah. hey, brother. Hey, bless. I love what this brother just said. He's 100% accurate because love is this. Love I want a second to six. This is what love is. He, he said it. He said it a lot, but I'm going to read it. Second John, verse 6. And this is love. What's love, brother? That we walk after his commandments. That we keep the commandments. That's what love is. You're going to do it. That's what love is. Give me 1 John 5 and 3. This is how you show God you love him. You read the book for 1 John chapter 5 and verse 3. A little more. This is the love of God that we keep his commandments. The love of God is that you keep the commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. And his commandments are grievous to you. So that's how we got to get the Psalms 111 verse 10. Read this loud for the brother. So as he's leaving, he understands this. Why is the difference in, in understanding right now? Psalms 111 verse 10 again. Because you're 100% correct. Love is the keeping of the commandments. That's what the Bible says. Yeah. Come on. Psalm chapter 111 verse 10. But this is the disconnect. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. wisdom. 
a good understanding have all they that do his commandments. So my brother, are you keeping the commandments? Is that, is that reference yes, scripture? You're keeping the commandments? Yes. Is, is, is that reference? Is, hold on, hold on. Give me Proverbs 1 and 1. Because is that scripture reference I think, also a reference from... Let's get like to the meat. Like we, we're still on like care. I think it's the fear is a reference. But like no, I again, again to a baby a they shall fear. How do you, oh, hold on, how do you know again if you're, is it physically lineage? Or is it spiritual? Yeah, I need to get to that. Okay, yeah, that's let's what I'm saying. Get, what what lineage? Yeah, how do, that's what I'm just trying to figure out. Can, can we get to that? If, if we can get to that uninterrupted. You ask good questions. That's, that's yeah. great. That's, yes. that's a great question. Because I, I say uninterrupted for a reason. You haven't been interrupted, bro. Y'all y'all read all that. Stop that, man. Stop well, listen, that. Listen, Deuteronomy 28. Stop this. Deuteronomy 28. I want you to give me Deuteronomy 1 verse 1. We're going to see what's being spoken What does brother want to say? This man? is going to show you. Yeah, yes, we I want to do. All right. First Corinthians 14, right. 40. So let all, right. all things be done. DC and order. order. That's how we roll right here. I got you. So when he give me place, then I still be. So brother, you said, how do we know if it's you. not physical Israel or, or how do we know if it's not physical, physical or spiritual, right? Yeah, that's right. So you want to know how we know that we're Israelites today, right? Okay. Deuteronomy 1 verse 1. I'm going to give a, the book of Deuteronomy was written and spoken to who? Who was, the, who was Deuteronomy written to? The children of Israel by the hand of Moses. That's who Deuteronomy was written to. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side, Jordan, in the wilderness. So in the wilderness, Moses spoke these words. The book of Deuteronomy, the first five books of Torah, was spoken unto the children of Israel. That's what Christ taught when he walked this earth. Deuteronomy 28, I want you to read verse 1. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments, which I can... No, I, he read it. He did. Come on. And to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set... 28. No, he read Deuteronomy 28. We got Deuteronomy 28, verse 1. Okay. Yeah, I want you. No, I got, I got, I got, And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So, question: Did, did the children of Israel hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God? Did they keep the commandments that God gave them? No, right? So, verse one through fourteen will be the blessings that the children of Israel would have gotten had they kept the commandments. Mm -hmm. Verse fifteen through sixty-eight are the curses that befell these people because they didn't keep the law, statutes, and commandments of God. Verse 15, just to prove that. Verse 15. Mm -hmm. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So jump down. We're going to read through some of the curses, but jump down to verse 46. Mm -hmm. Verse 46. Mm -hmm. And they shall be upon thee. So these curses shall be upon thee. What? For a sign. For a sign. How do we know what's this Bible shop? How do we know this Bible shop, the name of this Bible shop? By the sign. By the sign. How do we know it's street long? A sign. A sign. These curses are going to be upon us for a sign. Come on. And for a wonder. And for a wonder. Come on. And upon thy seed forever. How long is forever, bro? Never ending. Never ending, right? Right. Okay. Jump up to verse 32. Verse 32. These are curses that's going to be upon a particular people for a sign and for a wonder Pretty upon good. them forever as a nation of people, as a whole. Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, uh -huh. and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there should be no might in thine hand. So our sons and our daughters shall be given unto another people, and our eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there should be no might in thy hand. As a nation, as a whole nation of people, who did that happen to? Black folks? Are you saying black folks? It happens to the so-called so-called American blacks. It happens to the so-called natives, and it happens to the so-called Hispanics. That's who that curse happened to. Verse thirty-seven. Oh, which one? Which okay. native, mm -hmm. native, okay. so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans as a whole nation, mm -hmm. not as individuals or a small uprising, as the whole nation. Come on. Verse thirty-seven. And thou shall be Son, thirty-two. Your ahead. sons and your daughters shall be taken and given unto another people, and you shall have no might in your hands to get them back. That's the curse that befell the children of Israel. You're not talking about 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you went, 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 you we walk. We we didn't go into Egypt as slaves. I, no, 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 I didn't say that. No, I didn't say we did. I just want to. I just want to get. I'm trying to get better. Understand okay, we're going to go ahead. Okay. Read it again. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse thirty-two. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And understand, this is after the Egyptians. Okay. This says your sons and your daughters shall be, meaning future tense, not past tense. Shall be given unto another people. Come on. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. So our treasure shall be taken, and our eyes shall look and fail. You ever seen roots? Mm -hmm. You ever seen 12 years of slave Mandingo? Mm -hmm. Canary effect? You ever seen those things? Mm -hmm. Verse 37. Verse We're just 37. gonna skip to some of the curses. We can go through all the curses, but I don't want to keep y'all here all day. Yeah. Verse 37. <laughs> Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. We shall become an astonishment. So the 400 years that we could not read nor write, we, will be, we became an astonishment. I'm going to tell you how much of a, an astonishment. If you step on a roach, the roach get back up and he walk off, you're like, man, that roach is, you know, that's crazy. That's how they look at us. We've been, it's been processes set up, councils set up to destroy us, and they cannot destroy us. We were looked at as an astonishment. Come on. A proverb. That's if you want to hide something from a black man, you put it in a book. We That's a proverb. How, how Come do on. We, how do we? How and do we, a byword. Verse, verse forty-six. How do we build with y'all? How do y'all build with? Is that possible? How do we? Let me finish. Hold on, hold on. Pastor Marcus in here for a while, and he wanted to say he wanted to ask a question. Again, he was not allowed to even speak. Pastor Marcus, my man, right here. Pastor Marcus, ask the question you want to ask. I have a question. Okay, make your make your comment. I had a comment. The plain message of the gospel is this. Jesus Christ was sent into the world to save the world. Not just one nation, but it was open to all nations. His blood sacrifice on that cross was for every single individual that will freely and willingly accept what he did on the cross by shedding his precious blood. Us standing here arguing about nationalities and, and Israelites this and that is not even what it's about. The message of the gospel is this. That Jesus Christ came into the world to save the world, to save us from our sin, to give us life eternal in Him. You see. And it's all about no, no, Him. No, no, no. It's His glory, His honor. It has nothing to do with any of us. It's because of what He did Amen. for us. He's, he's saying what That's he's all I got to say. So He came into the world to save no, the world. We're not, we're not, I don't think, he's, I don't think he wants to debate that. I don't think yeah, he wants no, to no, debate. No, no, debate. There's no debate. There's no debate. That was a declaration. That's 100% correct. I'm agreeing with the brother. Listen, I'm agreeing with him. I know that. Isaiah 45, verse 17. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. He shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World puts out in. The children of Israel is that world that came to save you. That's Matthew 121. Oh, wait, hold on, wait. That's what's popular. But we don't we don't I need that to affirm. Huh? Like we don't need like we don't I hate to say this, but we don't need other people's affirmation for our own belief. I ain't gonna do that. Why are we waiting to actually get affirmation for his belief? And I, exactly why, why? what you what y'all believe is what y'all believe is what we read and what we believe is what we believe now. Three now I, I, no, 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 no more, no more. The, 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 the shop to shut down. I want to say, I, 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 I want to say something because too. Because I want to say something we, too. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we, gotta, we can't leave on this yeah. note, man. We cannot. Not, we're not, we're not, if we leave on this we're note, we're I, I think we're not, we're not even finished. finished. We need finished. I think there's an injustice <laughs> done because we're going <laughs> back. It's just a, bro, I mean, I get it, but. Nothing that Amen. they because say is going to cha change the conviction in one. You know, if anything, it'll help edit or build us, hopefully, and vice versa. But if we leave here with, with, then not accepting each other as brethren, regardless of can we where we come from, because I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I, and to be honest with you, I'm not going to do agree. No, 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 we can't leave on a point to where it's can we agree to not to knock you. I'm, I mean, no, no, we're, we're the same. Me. We're, we're saying the same Talk thing. To me, right. But like I'm saying, you good. You're right because the way through Jesus Christ is the only way through His Word. 
not man's doctrine, not man's idea, not man's separation. Not the but, law. Not the law. It's through Christ. So, so see, that's where we disagree. So, but see, but listen, hold up, but hold up, hold up, but hold up. But see, the thing is, whoa. But the thing is, if if we are, if now, just answer this question. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. No, 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 it's a question. It's an honest question. No, can you, can you, can you, no, like, can you, same right now, if I same ask you right now, are we, are we the same? Do we believe in the same God and we believe in the same beliefs? Mm. Do we believe in the same God? Yeah, it's who you say he is. Hold up, Do we, do we believe in the same God? I don't know what you believe. You just want to know why. I'm a, I'm a follower of Christ. I, who do you I guess, say okay, he I'm gonna is? say this. I know. You're a follower of Christ? I, no, but hold up. I know for a fact. Do you I don't believe the same way you do. He is. Okay. So, but the thing is, hold up, hold up. I I'm making. That. I, I know. agree with you. What's right. your name, brother? Garrett, we found Garrett, I agree with you. I'm <laughs> Nice to meet you. Once so, you finish, I need to read something. So, you're 100% correct. So, what you're I'm correct. saying is, so what I'm saying is, we can say we don't agree according to what you're saying, but we're not, we're not saying that it's, it's a law problem. I mean, a scripture problem. What we're reading is the word of God. We can't stand on anything else or any man's doctrine, any man's idea. So all I'm saying is the word of God is the right. truth and it's the final authority. I, but the I, problem I, is that the thing is, though, where we divide, because I know we're not the same. I know I've talked to many of you guys before. I'm I can about, honestly, I've talked to Israelites. I've, yeah, I mean, I've, I got friends that are. So I've talked before and we have come to a point where we say, Garrett, we don't agree. And I said, I know we don't, but we're cool. But there's many people that are not, I don't want to say associated with y'all, I don't know for sure that they cannot say that. Okay. So the bold statement is, we can say boldly, Jesus Christ, there is no other way. But the problem is, there are other, there are other denominations that say we're the same, and we're not. Mm -hmm. I agree, I agree. That's not, you said there's other denominations that say you're the same and that you're not. There's other Israelite camps that say that, that you can that you made the differentiation of. You said that you spoke to us. It's different camps teaching different things, just like it's different denominations. But this is what I want you to understand. But what right, I agree though. with you. It's not right. It's not right at all. Because we're going to let God be true and every man a liar. Every question that we answer didn't come from my thoughts. It came straight from the Bible. You said, oh, no more scriptures, no more scriptures. We were reading the Bible. First John 2, hold on. I, I'm ending it on this. I'm it on this because we all Christians, we all followers of Christ. I wanted to answer your question about how we know that we're Israelites. That got that that got squashed. First John two. First John chapter two verse four. Come on. He that saith, I know him. I want verse one. Verse one. Mm -hmm. My little children. These things write I unto you. Come on. That ye sin not. A sin is the transgression of the law. That's right. what sin is. So it is, you can't get the kingdom without keeping the laws. Right. Read. And if any man sin, if any man sin, we have an advocate oh, oh, oh. with the Father. Come on. Jesus Christ is righteous. Mm -hmm. Read. And he is a propiti propitiation oh, no. for our sins. All, all praises. Yes, come on. Mm -hmm. And not for ours only. But also for the sins, the, the sins of the whole world. The sins of the whole world. We read to you what the world was. Isaiah 45, verse 17. We read that to you. Mm -hmm. Come on. And hereby we do know that we know him. This is how we know we know God and we know Christ. Come on. If we keep his commandments. If we do what, brother? If we keep his commandments. You must keep the law statutes. Which? Which? To know God. 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 Read. He that saith, I know him. That man that says, I am a Christian, that I know God and I know Christ. And keepeth not his commandments. Ball in your head, you shaving your face, you not wearing your fringes, but you say you believe in Christ, you not keep the commandment one. Mm -hmm. Is a liar. I ain't call you a liar. God called you a liar. Whoever is a liar and what? And the truth exactly. is not in him. The truth is Psalms 119, verse 142. Read. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law. Is the truth. What's the truth, brother? The Thy law, right law you. is the truth. You yeah, ain't if you ain't keeping the law, if the laws ain't in you, you, you switch the song. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. 151. Verse 151. Yes, we switch the song. Because Isaiah 28 tells us we must study precept upon precept, line upon line, and hear a little and there a little. That's right. And with that, but I say is, shalom.
Shalom, this is I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.